Hello, this is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. Tonight I have with me a GI nurse action girl made by Hasbro. These are very difficult to find. This one happens to be in the original cellophane. And you could see how the tiebacks um, for her um, neck and her torso have... Um, have broken off but she's still there and I wanted to show you some of the details of this uh, particular figure um, if you look closely at at the uh, medic bag there this is one that is uh, green olive drab I should say as opposed to white some of them came with a white bag and she's still um, has sort of, you know, a, a curvature to her hair because she used to have a band in her hair. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to see it at her right foot there. So that fell off. There's the two uh, straps on each of her legs holding her legs in. So she's, uh, she's pretty much propped up there by, you know, just sheer luck. I mean, this case leans back. Um, I, uh, purchased this figure, jeez, must be in the 90s, so uh, I guess, um, I've had it for almost, what, 30 years, and, um, I've always been really pleased with, um, this particular example, and you can see the color on the back. It's uh, really bright and crisp, and you could tell that's an original. Um, and it's original from where I got it from. So here we have the label. It says uh, WYLT, 698, Authentic Equipment for GI Nurse, the Action Girl. And it says there number B060. Anyway, it's really nice, complete with uniform, cap, shoes, stocking, shoulder bag, arm bag, crutches, bandages, splints, stethoscope, plasma bottle. Your GI nurse action girl is bright, beautiful, and always on the go. She's dedicated to helping her country in time of need, tenderly caring for the sick and wounded GIs. She's your loyal and efficient GI nurse. Comb and brush her rooted hair and rooted eyelashes. So you have to remember this was made in the 60s. So that you know the style, the pose, the colors, um, it's all you know 60s. So if I turn her around carefully, I have a special surprise tonight. And I hope you're still watching. This is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. And that is your, your GI nurse. Now, I was poking around my cases, showing a friend in Texas some of my um, Tonka collection. And um, I was showing him some of my GI Joe collection. And I realized that I had some unfinished business. Um, you might recognize this. This is a G.I. Joe nurse box type. I bought it off from eBay. I apologize for not remembering the guy's name, but he was very efficient in making this, and he actually messaged me to make sure I got it, how I like it, and I probably had it for six months at least, but it's a beautiful Lexan case. It's different than the one this nurse uh, behind is... is um, packaged in but if I lay this down to the side you'll get an idea of why I have a second case here is another example this one the cellophane is also original it has the same tape mark as the one I just showed you um, the 
head is wrapped in the cello or in the plastic. Um, she's got all of her straps. There's one around the neck, one around the torso, two around each of the legs. And what's interesting about this is if you look, if you look at the top of the box, all right, you have that telltale sign of an original um, wrapping with the colored cello tape, similar to the one behind. But if you put them next to each other, you could see a different, a difference in the background card. Now, I don't know, um, but someone on one of the GI Facebook pages, GI Joe Facebook pages, was asking if everybody, if anybody covered their, you know, their GI Joes to keep them out of the daylight. And um, it got me thinking, um, you know, is this something that's common? Did they make them in different color backgrounds or is one faded and the other one, you know, original? Um, if I look, if I look at the pink, it looks as though as this one in the foreground is a little bit deeper pink. And um, I got this from a person who purchased an estate of Barbie dolls. The Barbie dolls are from the 80s. And he said that um, he bought like five large boxes. And when he got home, he found this at the bottom. And he said that the woman um, was European and she was a collector and she had a book and she would mark down everything she bought the month and the year and she put the price in the name and she'd also put that same month and year on the box and the whole collection of Barbie dolls was all dated month and year and on the box and that that date you can see on this one is uh right up there see it 569 so she had purchased this um one on the right on in 569 and put it in a box so i know that this one is really never seen light because of how she was you know how she collected it and how she packed it so i don't know if anybody out there has um boxed nurses um Maybe, if you can, my name is Jim, and I'm at 1-800-OLD-TOYS, and my email address is oldtoys at yahoo.com. It would be nice if uh, others, you know, provided me with some information about the figures that they have, because um, it's these little details um, that significantly um, impact the price or value. So if you look at the one on the left, it's beautiful. Um, it's just, you know, a very rare piece. Uh, a couple of ties are snapped, the headband snapped off. Big deal. It's got the original cellophane and, and it's very, very difficult to find. But then if you put it next to this one, you say, wait a minute. Wow. Is that one more valuable? It's just as rare, but is it more valuable? Because it's got the headband, it's got the straps. It's got the deeper, richer color. I think it is. I don't know. They both look amazing. And I would never really understand the difference, uh, the impact like could have if this is the case um, with these two, you know, unless I had these two boxes in front of me. So this is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. You can reach me at oldtoys at yahoo.com. If you have any toys from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and you're interested in finding out more about it, or if you have questions, just email me at oldtoys at yahoo.com, or even give me a call, 1-800-OLD-TOYS. I'm on the East Coast. Hope you're having a good night. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to see if I can slide this in without damaging it. Um, so let's see. So this particular case is different. This case comes off at the bottom. So I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to point my camera down. And I'm going to try to get this in. So if this is the bottom, that means I have to carefully take this without anything falling on it, without catching a corner, and 
try to carefully insert it here. I think I got it in. So I don't want to push it without understanding what's happening because if you get a little tear, you got to push it, pull the tear all the way through the box. So I'm going to slide it slowly, put her in her permanent home. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's a little caught there. See, can't force it. I don't know. Here it is, right here at this corner on the left. So there's the five sixty nine again. You see, she put everything on the uh, on the on the uh, price sticker. I was told. There it is. Let's see if I get this side in. Come on. There it goes. I think that's in far enough. Yeah. It's a very well-made case. I apologize for not remembering your name. But very well-made. This one doesn't have, it doesn't sit on an angle like the one in the, in the background there I got a long time ago. Damaging or dropping it. Okay. There you have it. Two 1969 GI nurses. Very rare. Together. Ready to handle the sick and the wounded. Hope you're having a great night. Jim from Old Toys here signing off. Old Toys at Yahoo.com. Any questions, give me a holler. Thanks.